important stock market data looks like. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're gonna be continuing on with our Y Finance series. And today we're gonna to be looking at the uh, info attribute. So let's just go ahead and bring it in here. If you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We take one video with one topic and we add upon it. Now, I was thinking about it as I was doing this, setting this up. None of these stocks that I will be showing and talking about am I recommending at all. This is all tutorial. This is now I will show you things to help you later make decisions, but I will never ever advise any any type of things. So all right, we bring this in. Let's run dir on AA, which is our ticker symbol for Alcoa. And it's just towards the beginning of the alphabet, nothing like that. So we are going to really be looking at, I want you to really understand what kind of the really basic important stock market data looks like. And with this, with this awesome uh, package, there is a ton of info. So let's just run and look at dir on aa.info. So, all right, it's gonna bring back, uh, shoot, it's a dictionary, sorry. So let's just look at it. Aha, and we know, we know how to use dictionaries. So we got keys and value. So we're gonna learn how to sort this and pull this out. So now, so this is how we get the ticker symbol. And we also know from last video how to go and download from something that we learned a long time ago. So we're gonna do info equals sorted. We know how to do this. Dot, and we're gonna make a, a list comprehension here, right? So key and value and close that out for key and value, key value in our aa.info.items. And then we close this out, close out that sort, and then for key value, oops, in info. Now I'm gonna use my F string, which if you haven't seen, print, guess what? We got a video for that. Key value, then close that out. So all right, let's just look and see what I'm doing here. So what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm alphabetizing this so we can go and look at it. Make sure we can see this. All right, so we're gonna be looking at the very important information, very basic and important information stock market data. So I touched on it a little bit last video. So, all right, this is how you can do it for each company. Then we're gonna start going through and looking at sectors. So let's talk about this for a second. Uh, sector. Do, 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 do. So it's basically what type of company this is, because that's what you really start to look at. And I'm going to try not to ramble, because this is actually, uh, I love Python. I love this even more. I know that sounds near impossible. So, all right, the way that you really compare a company is how does it relate to its peers? How does it act? So knowing what sector it's in is very, very important. All right, then... So here are, now this is not for real-time data. This, we're not gonna be using this. We'll deal with that at a later time. But all right, sector, right? That's why I put this in alphabetical order. We saw earlier that this is all a hodgepodge, almost unreadable. So at a later time, we're gonna learn how to pull, then start comparing and seeing how companies match up. So you have, the price, all right, regular market price there, okay? So now you go, oh, that's cheap. 
Well, we don't know that because the way that you really gauge if a price of a share or of a company is fair is, let's see, uh, PE. Let's see where to go. Uh, price to earnings. So the way earnings per share. So all right, I want to look. Why don't you look at this? Forward EPS earnings per share. You are looking at that correct. That is a negative number. So they are losing money. So that's what you need to think about. And here's the industry. They are in basic elements. Uh, material sector 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 let's see basic materials and they are really efficient with aluminum all right they are an aluminum company and now let's look at this so here's the average volume that's how many shares are traded each day then here's one the, the what the 10 day average is so you start to get to see is this above average or is this below average? So I'm gonna, I can already see that I've gotten ahead of myself. So we're gonna do a couple, a couple more, but here, here's earnings per share. We've talked about this. Now here are two very important numbers. 52 week high and 50, 52 week low, 52 weeks in a year. So this is where the share price has been at its lowest and this is where the share price has been at its highest. And let's look at market cap and then and then we'll start wrapping this up. So all right, the way that this is, is this is how much the entire company is worth. Market capitalization. And that's the, I think this calls it fair market. Fair market price times the number of shares outstanding. I think it's just shares outstanding. Shares outstanding. So, all right, so that's, uh, there's 185,915,008 shares outstanding times 7.5. That is how much this company is worth. All right. So this has, and we'll get way into more of this, but these are the basic, basic, basics of important stock market data that you begin to build and understand. Look at this they've just been losing money like crazy so all right so we may need to find something else oh and this is a really good one this tells you everything their growth to their um how much money they are making because you have then your pe ratio your price to earnings so how much is it making compared to what it's what it's valued so very very cool so all right um, I know we're, we're, we're getting there and then we're going to start looking and screening and seeing how companies relate to each other. And that's how you really see value. So, all right, as always, please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.